give this away. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Livy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you everything I got thrifting in Salem, and then a couple other pieces as well. Um, but if you guys have watched my more recent video, you know that I did go to Salem. Um, I actually went this past weekend. Let me tell y'all. Okay. I'm going to get into it really quick. So I don't have to go over it again. <laughs> Cause I feel like I've told everybody and their mother. I went to Salem on Thursday and my best friend was supposed to meet me there on Friday. So this was this past weekend, which would have been like, I think I flew in February. I took a red eye February 3rd or second and got in Thursday morning. Um, and when I got there, the weather was absolutely abysmal. <laughs> so I got there, it was raining. I had a rental car, but it was really cold. Um, I kind of went down Essex street and like went around some shops and stuff in downtown Salem. And I called my best friend. She lives in Michigan, but she was going to be flying out of Indiana. And I called her and I'm like, what's the snowstorm there? What's the, what's the news? What's the 411? Like, are you gonna be able to make it? Her flight ended up getting canceled and the weather was so bad in Salem that I ended up caught, caught bleh, I ended up cutting my sh trip short. So I was there Thursday, Friday, and then I had a flight out Saturday evening. Friday, the weather was even worse. It was like raining and then sleeting and everything was turning to ice. And then Saturday was actually sunny, but it was very, very cold. It was like 20 degrees with a wind chill. So it made it like eight degrees. So. I ended up just kind of like thrifting while I was there and I did see some stuff. I actually did film a couple of the different Hocus Pocus locations that I'm going to show you guys in a video, which I'm really excited about. I wasn't able to go everywhere, um, but I did see some of the cool locations that I shot, some of the outdoor scenes um, in front of. So let's get into the thrift haul. I have so much to show you guys. Um, I have quite a few clothing items and then a lot of like trinkets and books and things that you can kind of see behind me. Uh, but we'll start it out with, I got this shirt. It says Street Legends, um, which I'm sure maybe some of you know what that is. I guess I'm kind of like a poser because I just liked it. So I bought it, but I got this at Savers for like $3 and 49 cents. Um, and you'll see a little bit of a theme, sundresses and then like black graphics like this, like black graphic tees and sweatshirts. So pick this item up. I just thought it was cute. And you might be able to see some of my golden retrievers dog hair on it. <laughs> if anybody has a dog that sheds, then you know wearing black. Like if it's not a black dog, then wearing black is like a death sentence. And I've accepted that. I just kind of forgot how bad it was until I started wearing this around the house. But I really like this, super comfortable. I love like long sleeve t-shirts. And my roommate and I always have a debate if it's called a long sleeve shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt. I call it a long sleeve t-shirt because it's like, you know, it's crew neck, it's like t-shirt material. And if the sleeves are short, it would just be a t-shirt. So it's a long sleeve t-shirt, which is like my favorite type of clothing. But he calls it a long sleeve shirt. So maybe in the comments, let me know what you call it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, I, I follow a lot of people on Instagram um, that go to Salem quite often that are kind of like horror makeup chicks. Like they do really cool, like horror themed makeup. Um, they always make a stop in Salem around October time. And I had seen them go to the store that's on Essex Street, which is like downtown Salem. Essex Street is where a lot of the shops are. The Witch House is off of, uh, is off of Essex Street. Um, and then Allison's house from Hocus Pocus is also off of Essex Street. So there's a lot there. But there's also a store called Vamp Fangs. Um, and when you go in, it's all kind of like gothic themed. And it's a lot of like clothing and kind of like vampire themed clothing. Um, and if you guys happen to go in, talk to Victor. He is the nicest person ever. He's like the cashier there. We just like share life stories. He's awesome. So if you guys go there, definitely hit up Victor. But while I was there, I did pick up um, just a zip up hoodie. And it is Dark Alchemy, the brand, if you guys have heard of it, they do a lot of this kind of like graphic, gothic style, like hoodies and t-shirts. Um, and then it's got some writing on the side that says you are too close and a cool like little emblem here and then on this side it says keep back six feet <laughs> and the back is just this really cool kind of steampunk um 
oh, I don't know the word, you know, with the beak and the like glasses and the hat. And it says, not today, plague. <laughs> so I just thought that was really fun. It's super, super cozy. And I got it in a size medium. Um, and it was like $50 from Vamp Things, which is usually a little bit more than I spend on like loungewear. But this is a really cool brand. They don't sell it very, you know, in many places. You can only find it in certain stores um, that are kind of those eclectic stores like, like Vamp Things. So super excited to have this. Again, kind of going along with the black graphic loungewear kind of theme. I also picked up this. I actually got this from Savers and I think it was in Danvers, Massachusetts, which is like just a couple miles outside of Salem, like probably a 20 minute drive. And I thought this was just kind of a cute t-shirt. I like kind of different colored tees that are a little bit more like vintagey. It was $1.99 and it's just like a fishing t-shirt. But I really liked the kind of neon orange and then the teal color. And this is what the back looks like. So again, $1.99, thought that was fun and thought I would just pick it up to lounge around the house. Another loungy piece that I got at the same Savers that I picked up that t-shirt um, was this awesome USA sweatshirt. So I think it was, let me see. Same, it's exact same tag as that t-shirt, which is kind of like a vintage style tag. But the Olympics started like a week ago and I always love the Olympics and love kind of this like USA style, like red, white, and blue. Um, and I thought this would be perfect paired with, I just bought some white Converse All-Stars, the high tops. So that, those, and then this and a pair of jeans is like perfect, casual, fun outfit, so. Just blank on the back, thought this was really cute. Moving into the sundress category, cause I have quite a few of them. I picked this one up um, at that Savers as well. And it was $9.99, which I think is like a little overpriced. Savers sometimes, depending on where you are, runs a little bit more expensive. Um, and I don't, I'm cheap. Like I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes, but I did think this was like such a beautiful dress. It's got these, really pretty little like orange and yellow flowers with green stems and it is a wrap dress um and it's a size i think it was a size medium it was in the mediums for dresses which normally for a wrap dress i have like really big hips so i'm like that's not gonna fit me but i did try it on over my clothes and had like wiggle room to move around in it um so i ended up picking it up and it was long enough another thing with these cute wrap dresses is a lot of times for them to fit my waist I have to get them like a medium or large, but then they don't fit my hips and they're too short. So that's a big thing is like, normally they're way too short on me. This one is like the perfect, cute, short wrap just length for me. So I'm very excited to have this for spring. Even though it's only like mid-February, I am so looking forward to spring. Like I cannot wait for warm weather and flowers and sundresses. So this is the first one I picked up. up grabbing this little sundress at a Goodwill in, I think it was in Saugus. I think that's how you say it, Saugus, Massachusetts. Um, and I don't know how much I paid for this. I didn't really like see very many tags on things, um, but I saw it and just wanted to grab it. I thought it would be really fun for, oh, it has a blue tag. I have no idea what the blue tag means, but I thought it would be really fun for like St. Patrick's Day because it's just a super green color, which I'm not usually drawn to like Kelly green, but I don't know, maybe with my hair, it'll look cute. Um, and it just buttons down the front all the way down. It is Forever 21, which I know I've bought Forever 21 thrifting before and I you know, used to shop there. I'm not a fan of Forever 21. They've almost gone out of business before. I just don't really like fast fashion in general. Um, even thrifting it, I kind of feel conflicted about thrifting it. I know that like recycling clothing and stuff is important. So I do sometimes pick up pieces if I really like them. Um, but for some reason, thrifting it, I feel like supports purchases in store as well. Like if you thrift it, I don't know, it almost gives me an idea like, well, when people buy stuff from Forever 21, they just purchase things and they think like, okay, well, maybe if this doesn't work, I'll just donate it. And then people, cause they know people will buy it, you know? So I kind of, I don't know. 
that's my soapbox. I, I'll get off of it now, but <laughs> I did pick this up. Little conflicted about it, but I love the color. Um, it's just a short little sundress. This one is almost too short, but this because it flares out, it doesn't like cling to my my buttocks too much. So I thought this was really pretty. And we'll probably end up wearing that for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, this one needs a really good steam, but I love it so much. I picked this up at the same Goodwill as the green dress, and it's just this long, vintage style sundress. Um, it doesn't even have a tag in it anymore, but it's got kind of those like old school flaps here, and then along the bust area as well. And it just buttons down the front. And I think it's so pretty. This one I have already tried on and it's a little bit tight on my boobs. So I might have to wear something underneath it because I can't really like close that area. So I might have to wear like a cute bralette or something. Um, but it ties in the back so you can cinch the waist here. And it's just the prettiest print. Like it's kind of a cream color with, you know, red and blue flowers. And there's a little bit of yellow and the green stem. So I thought this was another one that would be perfect for spring and summer and it's a longer one it buttons all the way down so you can kind of like have a little bit of a slit if you want to i picked up this dress at the same goodwill as well um and i think my total at that goodwill was like 30 bucks so the dresses are probably like seven each or something. Um, I have tried this one on and unfortunately it does not fit me. It is tight, too tight in the arms and I can't even get close to closing the front of it. But it is this beautiful bumblebee print, like 50 style dress that has the tie around the sides and then the buttons and like a little lapel and collar. So I don't know if I wanna like chop this up, but I am tempted to almost cut off the skirt and save that and then create like a corset out of the top and make it like a corset dress. I don't know. I don't know if it would look good with like bumblebees, but I just, I love corsets right now. I'm making a lot of them for my costume line. Um, so it's kind of, I've realized like turning any fabric into a corset just makes it look so cute because there's like all those really pretty seams and the way it comes together in shapes. I really like and I think I'd have enough fabric to make it into a corset I just it doesn't have enough fabric in the front to close on my boobies but the brand is Eva Rose it's a size small so I picked it up because I was like maybe it'll fit it's a really pretty print and it's like a super thick material doesn't fit but I'm gonna find a way to repurpose it maybe I'll just sell it um, and it's giving me ideas for like how I want to have one of these dresses because I think they're really pretty and kind of retro um, but if I don't sell it on my Poshmark, then I'll probably repurpose it into like a corset dress. Okay, and for the final sundress, I actually got this when I got home from Salem the day after I went to Savers in town here in Reno. And I saw this really pretty little sundress. Um, it's just like a white dress with blue and green flowers, like blue flowers and little green stems. Um, and it's got a cinch here at the waist and up at the top, but it kind of like billows here in the breast area and then some like stretchy sleeves there or, you know, straps. Um, and it does go pretty long. There is a layer underneath, um, like a lining that goes probably to like mid thigh or so, but I just thought this was so pretty for the summertime, um, to play in my garden in. And I thought it'd be really, really comfortable and it's beautiful. So... Other clothing items I picked up. I got this at the Goodwill in Saugus, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, it does not fit me, but I was like, ooh, Baywatch. Like, I love red bathing suits. It's just a red one piece. It is too tight on my boobs. Like, it just squishes them down, like, really, really far. That kind of just, it looks like it doesn't fit. Um, but it does lace up the front here. So, if you've got a smaller chest, 
um, or you like your boobies to pop out a ton, this is like a really good suit for that. It does also still have the lining on the crotch, which is kind of nice because it's like picking up bathing suits secondhand. Sometimes you're kind of like, Rrr. but I saw this one. It is a size medium, so I'm probably going to try to sell this on my Poshmark. It's got that really high cut from like kind of 80s style. Um, and like I said, it laces up the top here, but unfortunately does not fit me. So off to my Poshmark you go. Two pairs of shoes I picked up. This first one is from the Savers here in town, but I picked up these cute little like strappy sling back kitten heels. So really short heel, which I know some people aren't a fan of, but they're just so dang comfortable and I'm really tall as it is. Um, so I used to really gravitate towards kitten heels. I don't as much anymore, but I thought these were so pretty. They have like little diamantes, like little crystals, um, and two like eyelets on each side and then a bow. And I actually picked these up for a wedding that I have coming up in June. So these were $14, which isn't too cheap, but they're in great condition and like very pretty. I mean, just kind of like a classic style, like so pretty would be really good for a summer wedding. And then the last pair of shoes that I picked up was in, uh, these were in the Savers in Danvers, Massachusetts. And I picked them up the same time as that first white sundress because I thought they would go really well. They're kind of like a patent leather, like fake leather material. And they're like a blush cream color. Just some cute little sneakers. These were $5.99, um, size like eight and a half. And I just thought they were cute and perfect for like summer to pair with a sundress. So I really don't have very many pairs of like sneakers like this besides my white high tops. So I thought I would just add these to my wardrobe so I can slip them on. And with them being kind of this leather material, they'll be easy to clean off. You know, if you get any scuffs, you can just brush it off. So let's move on to some garden stuff. Um, and by the way, I am going to save my favorite item last, um, which you guys might be able to see behind me, but I'm going to save that till the end because I was so excited about it and I still love it. So starting out with some garden items, um, I did pick this up at the Savers in Danvers, Massachusetts. I think they, it didn't have a tag, so they quoted me like $2.99 for it. And it's just this fun little like sunflower, um, like watering can. And I'm really excited to build up my garden in the springtime. I think I might do a couple of videos on it. I saw some planner boxes that I think I want off of um, Amazon, or I might build some. Right now I do have a small garden and I've got kale, spinach, garlic, red onion, and um, scallions scallions shallots I've got shallots growing in it and all the stems are already popping out of the ground so I'm so excited for my garden but I want to plant some new things for the spring and summertime so I think I'm gonna buy some planter boxes and I just have all these ideas in my head for my garden so I thought this was cute and I'd pick it up and find a place for it also for my garden I ended up stopping by the Christmas tree shop which is like an East Coast shop that's kind of like Ikea mixed with like home goods. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but that's probably the best way. They have a lot of different like decor items and storage bins. And then right now they've got a bunch of garden stuff. And I just thought this little guy was so cute. Like, look at him. He says, welcome friends. And he's like, welcome friends. And he was only $1.99. He's super heavy too. When I went to go check my bag at the airport in Boston, they were like, you're five pounds over. Like, do you want to take some stuff out? I took him out and it went down like a ton. So he's just so cute. I'm going to find a place for him in my garden. And then I found this at the Savers here in town when I got back. And this one also says, welcome friends. And it's just got a really pretty little butterfly um, and some flowers, some little blue flowers. This one is not so heavy. This I paid $1.49 for, but I thought it was cute as well. So I'll find a place for that. Gosh. This was a little bit of a splurge at the Savers here in town. It was $9.99, but I saw it and it was so like cottagey and cute. I could not pass it up. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. Look, it's like a little, like a, like a little hillside town and it's got like the little water turner thing. I can't find the word for it, but you know, you see these, you saw this in Hocus Pocus, but it's got a bridge and a couple little cottages and some like 
trees growing. And I think it was supposed to like pump water throughout it. There's no button or anything for it. So I'm wondering if it's like missing a part, but I'm just gonna use it as some decor. Probably put it outside in the summertime, but right now it's living on a shelf in my bathroom and making it super like cottagey and woodsy. So I thought this is so cute. Splurge, but worth it, I think. Um, also just picked up some tapered candles, some short tapered candles at the Savers here in town. They were like $3, but I do have a lot of sconces to put these in. So I thought, why not buy some so I can actually light the ones I have in there now and not be worried about having to buy more of them. And then I got this adorable little oven mitt. I kind of had a bee theme going when I was in Massachusetts as well. Got this at the Christmas tree shop. Um, $1.99. I just thought it was fun and summery. It's got little beehives and bees and flowers and then a fun little like yellow plaid print. So yeah. <laughs> this next item, I bought some stuff for my roommate because I like getting gifts for people when I travel. Um, and he's super into like little trinkets and stuff, which is really fun because you can find a lot of that stuff at like Goodwill and Savers. I got this at the Savers in Danvers. I think I paid like $1.99, maybe like $1.49 for it. Look at this beautiful little box. And I didn't like, I was like, oh, it's a cute little like music box. You can tell. But I didn't like inspect it really. When I bought it, I just was like, oh, he'll love that. I'm putting it in my car before anybody else grabs it. Listen to this. Like, what are people thinking? Who would give this away? Somebody probably gave this away without knowing what it was. I mean, I love it. Oh my God. And we're both Harry Potter fans, so it's perfect. Oh my gosh, this is like one of the favorite, one of my favorite things that I bought for sure. And I gave it to him and like, I'll hear him, I'll be downstairs and I'll hear him like go up to his room and just like start playing this. like. And you can make it as slow and fast as you want. The inside looks like this. And it says Harry Potter. It's funny because I didn't even open it when I was at the store. I probably should have. But just like this cool little music box. Oh my gosh. Anyways, awesome. Don't know why someone would give this away. It's so small. It's pointless to give it away. You've got room for it. But I'm so glad we own it now. I also got, ooh, let me talk to you guys about the Hex Store. So the Hex Store is a store in Salem, Massachusetts off of Essex Street. Um, and it's like a witchy store. They've got a lot of crystals in there. They've got a lot of like little potions and things. And I went and picked up a couple little crystals, um, both kind of like a jade color. This one I think is called Jasmineite. If you can see, it's got some like feathered, like blush colors throughout. And I picked this one up and I think it's like for good luck and business opportunities and like prosperity. So I kept this one for myself. I got this one for, er, uh, no, I gave that one to my roommate. Um, so, okay, I lied. If I gave this one to my roommate, because it also had gambling on there and like luck, that was like one of the, some of the different things that this is supposed to bring. This one I kept for myself. This one is more of the prosperity and like business adventures and opportunities. So I thought this was really pretty. It's like a more of a like transparent JD color. And that store is really cool. So again, if you're in Salem, Massachusetts, check out The Hex. Um, it's like I said, a very witchy store. The cashiers were so sweet there. They have a lot of potions and different books and things like that. It's really cool. It smells amazing. There's a lot of like incense when you go in. Um, and it's just a fun place to experience if you go to Salem. It's definitely worth checking out. Next item I picked up at that Savers in Danvers. This, it still has a tag on it. It was like $11 originally. I think I got it for three and I got this for my roommate and it's just a fun little travel journal. It's got like the fake leather throughout with a cool design. So I thought this would be fun for him to have. He loves little journals like this. Um, so he can write in it whenever we travel. He can take notes or pictures. I picked this up at, um, there is a store called Life Bridge. It's a thrift store in Salem, Massachusetts. I forget what street it's off of, but it's one of the main streets and it's just like a fun little thrift store. So I popped in there and found this little like plant 
pot. I guess it's so small, you could probably put like a little tiny plant in it. It was 50 cents. But I just thought it was really pretty and very like organic colors. It's kind of like a dark, dark brown color and then got that white on top. And it was a fun shape. So I thought this would be really fun kind of buy all my apothecary things on my desk. Picked this up at the Sayers in Danvers for $1.49. And I picked this up for my roommate. I kind of had a like a jade and cream colored theme going. But the reason I picked this up is because it has a little like black dog on it. And that's kind of what our puppy looks like. So it's a little bit worn off. Maybe it was a Scotty dog originally, but I just thought it was really cute. Like look how teeny tiny it is. And the little handle, it's really pretty organic colors. I mean, how fun is that? Like so cute for $1.49, adorable. And again, he likes little trinkets like this. I picked up this little like potiony bottle at the Goodwill in Saugus. It was $1.99 and I just thought it would be good again in my apothecary area. I'll probably fill it with like some dried flowers or oil. Okay, moving on to some of the items behind me. We're getting towards the end. So if you guys are still here, thank you so much for sticking around. I know I shopped a lot. I got this item at the Savers here in town. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see all the way through it, probably just a reflection of my ring light, but it's got like flowers in it and oil. It looks like somebody obviously made this. Hmm, I don't know how to show you that, but it's really, really pretty. Um, and I want to take probably this gold off because I just don't really like that, but I thought the top was really cool. It's a really cool shape. And this has gone on my desk. I put it by some of my books over there. And just a really cool little item for my apothecary area. Moving on to some of the books that I picked up. I picked up a lot and they were all in my suitcase, which I think is why my suitcase was so heavy. But I'll just do a quick run through of them. The biggest reason I picked up these books is like, number one, the aesthetic of them. Like, look how pretty all those are together. And I'll probably kind of mix and match these. I've got a couple brown ones on like a bookcase over there in my room. But I just love the style of like old books that are bound like this. Um, and this, like the color of the print on the binding is like a gold color, so pretty. And then I also like to pick up books that I'm actually interested in. Like two that I have over there, one is um, old Shakespeare plays, which I love. And then the other one is like a Reader's Digest from the 60s. So uh, let's see, this first one I picked up is um, Beer Bomb. It's Zulka and Dobson. I don't know this book, but I thought the color was so, so pretty. I think this one is from like the 40s, maybe. Um, I forget. Oh, no, 1926. So this is quite an old one. But again, I thought the color was really pretty. And I think I picked this one up at the LifeBridge store in Salem. They were $2 each. So I grabbed that one. And then I think I grabbed th this one there as well, The Last Days of Pompeii. Look at the binding on that. Like, look how pretty that is. Um, and again, just a really pretty old book. Uh, let me see if this one has a date. There were a couple that did not have dates in them, and this might have been one of them, but I just thought it was so beautiful. So I had to grab that as well. And I think that one was $2 at LifeBridge. This I picked up here, the Savers in Town. It was $3.99, which is usually a little bit more than I like to pay for books but I thought the colors in it were so cool. Like actually, I think this was the Savers in town. It may have been the Savers in Danvers. I can't remember, but like I thought the colors were really cool and the graphic on front, on the front of it for like Halloween time, it's got kind of a Gothic feel if you like put it on a table and put like some spiders next to it or something. Um, I thought it was really, really cool, so. That's the reason I picked this one up. I might not have it out year round. I might save it for like Halloween time, but I want to own a rental property. I want to own a couple, one being like a witchy house and then one being like a gothic -y house. So hopefully my dreams come true. And if they do stay tuned for that, but this kind of was the aesthetic. I think like maybe a gothic -y style would, it would fit in. So I picked this one up at the savers here in town. So I must've gotten that one when I was in Salem. Um, this one was $3.49 and I picked it up number one because the colors are so pretty. This kind of like grayish cream with the blue, but it's also Alice and, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. So this one's one of those ones that's like, I actually enjoy what's inside the contents. 
um, and it was so beautiful, like just an old school Alice in Wonderland book. Um, this book I picked up in Salem, I think at Savers. I can't remember. Um, I just like the color of this one. I don't know what this book is, but I just thought it was a pretty green color and a good aesthetic. Um, so I did pick this one up as well. Not much to say about that. And this last one I picked up is Gulliver's Travels, which I've never read, but I've heard so much about. And I thought the color was really pretty along with the gold print. And this was $2.99 at the Savers in Danvers. So I thought this one was really pretty. This one also has some like little Gulliver, Gulliver's Travels like letters inside as well. So I'm super excited to have all of these books and to put them out. I love this kind of old school cottagey um, old library aesthetic. So this is definitely kind of the look that I've been going for recently. And I'm so excited to have these. This is something like you can even pass down to kids and grandkids to have these, you know, when they go over to grandma's house and they see all these really cool books, like that's something that I remember and I enjoy. So, okay. And I did mention I'm saving the, my favorite item for last, like the item I'm most excited about here she is. This was the first thing I bought in Salem at a small antique sh antique shop, antique store off of Essex Street. And I'm trying to remember the name. I think it was like, I think it was Jerry's Department Store, which sounds like a department store, but it's like antique store. So it's on the corner of Essex Street um, next to like, like Caddy Corner, kind of from where the witch house is. Look how beautiful this is, guys. It's like a little like fairy lantern. And it's got blue etched glass inside of it. I paid $6 for this, which is like a small trinket. You know, it's not super overpriced, but it's not cheap either. But it's so beautiful. It has like little stars along the top and like a little bit of wear and tear. So I definitely need to clean it up. But, and then the top is like a little dented, but it's got ribbing there. And then blue etched glass and like a little door. So you can put like a tea light in it. Here's a better view of like the etched glass. I need to clean up the wax, but like you can see all the way around how beautiful. Like I just imagine having this in like a fairy cottage and like Tinkerbell would live in here. I thought it was so pretty. I've never seen a little lantern like this. Um, so it's really gotta be like a one of a kind piece. And now it's mine and I love it so, so much. So pretty. This is by far my favorite thing that I bought when I was traveling, this is the kind of piece that it's like, you can't find everywhere, you know, if you spot it and it was in an antique shop that was kind of like cluttered, you know how antique stores can kind of be. Um, and I just happened to spot this and fell in love immediately grabbed it. So this was the first item I bought in Salem. And I'm so happy to own this. Like I'm really, really excited about this. I don't know where it's going to live yet. Maybe in my desk area. I don't know. I got to find a really special spot for this. So I almost don't want to put it outside because it is delicate and I don't want to break it. And um, packaging it, I put it like, I specifically brought my Converse shoebox in my big suitcase for Salem to buy like little things like this. And then I like packaged it all really nice and put like a bunch of socks, like put socks in it and stuff so it didn't break. Um, it does have a crack in the glass, but I think that was there when I bought it, I'm pretty sure. So, so excited to have this. Put it back right there for now. Anyways, I know this is a long haul, but thank you guys so much for sticking around. And I hope you enjoyed some of the pieces or all the pieces that I got from Salem and then here in town. Um, I know I love all the items that I picked up and I'm really excited to have them going into the spring and summertime. And a lot of these items from my trip and just being in Salem really kind of get my brain thinking about wanting to buy rental property there, um, which I'll probably film a video on to show you guys some of the different areas that I like. Um, but it really gets my mind kind of thinking into decorating like either a witch house or a fairy cottage, something like that. So it's one of those things that just warms my soul and gets my creativity growing and boiling. So thank you guys again for tuning into this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.